Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight this morning. I want to share with you the third essential uh, in fulfilling your passion, uh, having a passion and fulfill the purpose of God upon your life and my life. That is this essential number three, using your gifts, using your gifts. Romans 12 verses 4 to 8 says, For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do, do not all have the same functions or giftings. So in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to us, each of us. Uh, if, you, if your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance to your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is encouraging, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is, if it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. You know, it is amazing. You know, God, you know, we are told that, you know, to, to, to fire up our passion and fulfill the purpose of God, we, we need to find our gifting. We need to find what are we wired out to do or created specifically to do. You know why? Because uh, God made every one of us special and different. You know, look at what church, uh, Paul told the church in Ephesus in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. He said, For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works. You saw that? We were all created to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do, whether it's natural gifting or spiritual gifting, a natural ability or spiritual ability. God made us to do it, uh, made in every one of us the ability to do it. You know, your creator, God, has gifted you in unique and wonderful ways beyond your comprehension and my comprehension. There's no such thing as we have no gifting. There's no such thing that we have zero gifting. Every one of us should have at least one. God has gifted every one of us. He crafted you and I with particular abilities and talents. And when you and I, when you develop your God-given attributes and use them to serve other people in love, great things can be accomplished if you use first of all you have to identify your gifting when you identify your gifting you serve people in love you love them that's how you serve them and then you know what great things can be accomplished all right great things can be through you but if you try to function apart or we try to function apart from our talents or if you and i Attempt to use your abilities in ways God didn't intend. You and I are headed for a life filled with anxiety, frustration, failure, disappointment, and sometimes depression. Be careful. If you're going to reach your full potential in life, you must gain an awareness of what the Lord has given you. You must seek to know and develop and then find God's approved ways to use your God-given talent, God-given ability, God-given uh, gifts. Place into your, wire into your spirit, into your very being to do and to fulfill and be a blessing. You know, the, God, the gifts and talents and ability that God designed for you will bestow, bestow upon you at your birth. A spiritual, uh, a true natural gift is, is present in a, in a person all his life. And I cannot begin to tell you all the natural gifts that are part of human beings. There are, there are many, 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 many natural gifts that God has wired into every child that is, that, that is conceived in the womb of his or her mom. There are variation, you know, and uh, and uh, there are different different category, you know. And uh, let me name you some. It could be their aptitude. 
in the air intelligence some people are born with aptitude you know they can rise above the situation some people are born with intelligence they're so intelligent people and they are born some people are born with intuitive ability they know they know things that you and i can hardly know find out emotions the strong emotion talent in a particular area of work or performance or interest or likes and dislike these are some of the natural things that wire into every human being and in addition to these gifts noted above just now i mentioned god has also given every person the following capacity to be able to do beyond what we thought we can do propensity we can do more uh, aspiration we can desire more seek more personality one person is different from another person the way we get things done the way you look at things the way we figure out things free view to decide what is right what is wrong what what you put in here what color to use what clothes to wear uh, uh, how to make this food and how to make that uh, that that that, uh, that you know the artwork looks nice or a measure of faith that dare to believe in yourself and in people and upon God for in for some impossibilities in life a conscience to know what is right and wrong a communic a communication ability some people can just stand in front of people and speak and talk and talk and talk and talk communication ability or a network of relationships some people can just work with people one you know they some people are just hopeless in working with machines and things and technology but they are well in communicating with people a, a, a network of relationships and a generation and a location you know uh, they can reach out to all generation of people and they can work with people from different places different spaces amen in addition to all this natural gift god created you and i he also give you and i what we call motivational gifts to prepare you for and and to prom you for work of ministry and in the body of Christ and this gift are released to you and I uh, and you receive them when you have Jesus in your heart these are called spiritual gifts the apostle Paul identifies seven motivational gifts that we are called use uh, called to use in ministry they're called power gifts uh, and for service within the body it could be prophesying the proclaiming of the word of God and you'll be ministering serving and helping to meet a need in someone else's life or teaching presenting information and principle from god's word or it may be exhortation intense encouragement to live out the christian life encouraging people it could be giving an expression of time treasure talent marked by generosity and faithfulness it can be leading uh, in the area of administrating uh, manage, managing managing uh, organizing and leading others it could be showing of mercy expression of kindness that points up to god's kindness or loving kindness and his free offer to forgive it's made possible to people around because jesus in them you know <coughs> no person can teach you how to fully blend all the gifts that god has placed within you or release in your life <coughs> but you can do it by obeying it only God himself can teach you everything you need to know about your giftedness only the Holy Spirit can do the work of shaping and coordinating all areas of your life so that they brightly reflect the light of the Lord in your life now let me tell you what to do take some time to consider the least I've mentioned prayerfully ask the father god the father to revert to reveal to you how he gifted you how you can use your gifts and talents to fulfill the purpose he has for you on this earth never 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 forget your potential lies in the arena of your god given giftedness one more time never forget that your potential lies in the arena of your god-given giftedness the very building block of your potential will always be the gifts god has given you you want to shine for jesus hmm? 
you want to be God's workman in, in doing whatever you want to do, He wants you to do, you know what? You can only shine in those areas. You can shine in those areas when you discover them, walk in them, and walk in them, and God will bless you. Amen. Use your gift. Build a passion. Have Be passionate about your gifting. And then fulfill the purpose of your gifting in God's kingdom and to people around you. Amen. God bless. Father, we pray to help us to discover and find and locate our gifting and then function and work in those gifting your place in every one of us, whether it's natural, motivational, or spiritual, that we can shine so brightly for you in all areas of our lives to fulfill your purpose for our existence. All this we pray, bless us with a great day in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day. Start learning and discovering God's gift in your life. Amen. God bless.